Goat666 says, any memories of your first barbed wire match with the Sandman, good or bad? My first and only barbed wire match. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do a barbed wire match, but I also didn't want to do it because I didn't feel like getting killed, you know? And so um, Paulie knew I wanted to do it. And Paulie, Paulie is a great motivator. He, um, he thinks of himself as like a Vince Lombardi, like he likes to be a coach as opposed to most, you know, bookers is just, here's what you, here's what you're going to do, go do it. Paulie wanted to inspire the boys to do it, you know, and make them, you know, he, he could make you run, he, may, he could make you want to run your head through a wall. That's how motivating he was, you know, and, uh, you know, yeah, he'd make you think it was good for the company, you know, that running your head through it and you'd be like, yeah, I guess it is. And you'd run your head through a wall and, um, so he, uh, what was the question again? How we got you to do the barbed wire match. Oh yeah, so the barbed wire match. So, um, the barbed wire match. So anyway, so he, um, I went to rehab because I had a, sort of an emotional breakdown and I couldn't get out of bed. And then uh, after a couple days in rehab, I realized that it wasn't drinking that was my problem. It was some emotional issues, which I resolved. And then after about a week or 10 days, I would end my insurance, because I had to stay long enough for my insurance to cover it. You have to stay long enough, not short enough. Yeah. Really? yeah. But, um, so anyway, so I stayed like a week to 10 days or whatever. And then uh, when I came back, I wanted to, uh, you know, he wanted me to put the belt back on me, but he, he wanted to make me earn it. And he also knew I wanted to do a barbed wire match, so he put me in a barbed wire match, you know. And that, you know, he goes, all right, you're doing a barbed wire match. And he knew that I wanted to be the, you know, work on top again. And he knew that I wanted to do the match, but I didn't want to do it. But this way he put me in a spot where there's no way I can say no. <laughs> you know, and so I told Sammy and I said, listen, I go, uh, it's uh, when, um, when you pull the bar, the wire off the, uh, the ring, cause in a barbed wire match, the ring ropes are replaced. You take the ring ropes down and you replace it with barbed wire. So it's three, three barbed wires around the ring with no ropes. So if you hit the ropes, you're actually hitting barbed wire. Mm. And it wasn't the fake barbed wire either. And it wasn't Pam Anderson barbed wire. <laughs> Fine film, celluloid master. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a remake of Casablanca. <laughs> it is, the no. plot's completely the same as Casablanca. <laughs> How have, I, how have I not known that? I've watched it all the way through. Have you seen it's... Casablanca? No. Well, that's probably why. Well, yeah, but I was more likely to watch Barbed Wire because I was hoping to see some tits. Yeah. Casablanca, I was pretty sure there weren't any tits in that. Yeah, there, there weren't many. No. Anyway, so um, so I told Sammy and I said, listen, I want you to, I'm going to get on all fours and I want you to whip me with the barbed wire. I go, whip me one time. And I go, if I hate it and it kills me, I go, I'm going to scoot away. I'm going to roll away and sell and then don't hit me anymore. I go, but if I, if, if it doesn't, if it isn't bad and I don't mind it, he go, well, give me like three or four of them. So he hits me with one. And I'm like, that's not that bad. And he looks at me. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. He's all right. Whap, whap, whap. And it wasn't bad at all. Like, it really wasn't. Like, first time I went through a table, I thought it'd be a, you know, oh my God, this is gonna hurt, it didn't hurt. First time I landed on thumbtacks, didn't hurt, except the only problem with thumbtacks is that you get like one of them in like your knee and then it kills. If you get like five or 10 in an area or a whole grouping it, you know, or a big pile, it doesn't hurt, you know, because they don't, they don't individually, they, they, the, group, uh, the group effort spreads the, spreads the, uh, the the space yeah you get it anyway it's just science but so like, um, if it's like there's loads does it just somehow numb the area or you know, it just it just they all support the, the area supports the thumbtacks yeah but when there's one and you guys like on your knee and then you put your knee into the ground it's just one tack digging in and then that kills and then like then you have thumbtacks in your boots for like weeks <laughs> like <laughs> I found thumbtacks and boots like years later. Like I was like, oh, right, there's a thumbtack. <laughs> so, well, I mean, you've done many thumbtack matches apparently, but how come you only decided to do, what? there's two questions actually. Why did you only decide to do one after it didn't hurt that much with the whipping? It never came up. I just never needed yeah. it. It didn't fit any of my plots. Uh, why did you feel the need to do the first one so much? Was it just because there was so much craziness in ECW at the time you felt you'd had to do some crazy No, I wanted well. to do it. No, I, I wanted to do it. But like I said, I didn't. I also didn't want to do it because I didn't feel like getting hurt. You know, I didn't feel like getting tore up and, you know, and scarred up. Yeah. But then I was like, ah, it can't be that bad. If it's good for business. Yeah. 